Criminal justice is the most sensitive point of interaction between the individual and the government. A person can be put in jail only if it has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt that he or she committed the crime that they did. How can we translate beyond a reasonable doubt into technological equation is a very complicated task. As a person with disability, technology um, changed my life dramatically. If in the past I needed to ask my family or friends to read documents for me, today I can read everything that is electronic with my computer, with a screen reader and a braille device. Wanting to broaden my scope beyond the disability world, I decided in my PhD to work on artificial intelligence. Because artificial intelligence is the technology that is changing everyone's world. As of now, there are many risk assessment tools used in many different um, stages of the criminal justice. It will make the work of judges more efficient uh, and hopefully it will produce results that are more accurate and less biased. The idea is AI is much better than the human brain in processing information, analyzing data and identifying patterns in the data. Beside the great potential, there are also great risks that we should be aware of. Because AI is working on data that we as human have been producing for many years. So AI could be a mirror of our biases. Biases that comes from the developers that are developing the algorithms, biases that come from the specific data that has been gathered only on a, a particular group of defendants. The only way to make sure that the AI that we use is fair is by aspiring for collecting high quality data uh, that is inclusive of everyone in the society. Many disciplines have been grappling with different notions of fairness for many years. Lawyers are not the only ones who are talking about fairness. Uh, philosophers, computer scientists, economists, policy makers, they all have different ways to view fairness. In my research, I hope to bring people from different disciplines to work together and I hope to be involved in the creation of a regulation or policy to be implementable technologically on one hand, but also on the, on the other hand aligned with principles of uh, law. Thank you.